Retro fans, welcome back to RGF Retro Game Force. And in 2021, I didn't do any game room tour video, and quite a lot of things have changed since the last uh, game room uh, tour video in 2020. So I have a new TV, I have started working into my arcade machine that is not finished, but it's fully working. So um, I will also show you the new games I have on my shelves, of course, but I want to start the video here with the new stuff behind me. So guys, stay tuned! So yeah guys, how I told you in the beginning, in the intro video, I got a new TV, a 65 inch 4K Samsung TV, it's not uh, an expensive model and whatnot. I got it actually for free, I didn't pay for this TV, I needed it for professional reasons and because of the pandemic I was close at home, so the company where I worked for sent me this TV, so I had to replace my Philips TV and I was really happy with it. From my point of view, a 65 inch TV on the room like this is an overkill, but anyhow, it's here, it works, it's beautiful, and I still have my mini consoles here on the bottom of my uh, TV set. I have my PlayStation Classic, my NES Classic, SNES, Mega Drive, and I really use these mini consoles. Um, here on this TV, uh, I use it quite a lot, and if we scroll it uh, down, it's the same. Uh, it's the same shelf I had before uh, last year, but I now bought some doors and close up a bit the set because the dust was really a nightmare. And like this, I could put some of the cabling I had around on the shelves with some boxes and stuff and I could close it here around so and I don't know if you notice I have a Xbox Series X which is uh, yeah really proud and owner proud owner of, of uh, Xbox Series X two controllers that's a Wi-Fi air ties Wi-Fi um, access point and uh, looking at the doors, basically I have all the round of cables and stuff there. Here I have controllers, a lot of controllers. I need to try to try to organize my retro uh, gaming controllers as well. But uh, they are there, they are protected, they are closed. And here I still have my Retron 5 connected to this TV as well, so I can play a lot of uh, my own um, game libraries, retro games libraries using the Retron 5 in uh, yeah HD. So here I have the possibility to play my old um, library of games using Retron 5. Of course I prefer normally to use the original hardware, but for a, a very quick game this is a really cool solution. I know that Polymega is, is is getting better than this but yeah it's expensive and I already got a Series X so yeah then I have my PlayStation 4 this is the original PlayStation 4 I have since day one and here I have more cabling stuff and in this side I have my uh, soldering um, soldering machine that I use for fixing my old consoles and doing some mods as well for my own and if you remember last year I didn't had these shelves here on this side these are new shelves that I use to put my my retro consoles so and some boxes as well so I have some PC boxes there's the Mega Drive Mini right there and some PC stuff including the microphone I use to record my voice and whatnot and my, uh, my CPU right there. 
So I have my three Dreamcast systems. They are um, actually two PAL and one Japanese. Uh, the I have a PAL and a Japanese fully original, and I have um, one of the only one of the PAL uh, systems has a ODE, so I can play games with the uh, um, over SD card, and that's why I have three of them. And I have a similar system here on the on the Sega Saturn. I have two Japanese, the white and the grey, and a Paul uh, Model One uh, Sega Saturn. Um, this one has Fenrir installed, and the other two are original. Then I have my 3DO, the Panasonic 3DO, and this is actually the. This is actually the um, CD, laser CD from the Sega Saturn removed, it's fully working, so I have it there because, you know, maybe I will put it back, but uh, yeah. And I'm a proud owner of my Panasonic 3DO, great system, I have it since years already. Then going back, going down actually for my Tower of Power from from Sega, the uh, 32X Mega Drive Model 1 and the Mega CD also Model 1, love this one. Then we have a Space Invaders uh, small statue, then I have, you know, my mods and my what, what not, so don't bother, I didn't clean up, so this is how it looks normally. Then I have my Master System Model 2 and Model 1. I actually prefer, I really like the, the Master System Model 2, I don't know why, maybe because I grew up with, but I really, it, it looks great, and that one does RGB, yeah? so it's the French um, Master System 2. And going down, I have my PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, which is my original Xbox 360, then I have a PS1, the smaller version, my Amstrad CPC, there is a PlayStation 2 Slim, I don't know if you notice, that's my HD a DVD for my Xbox 360, and I have three different uh, PlayStation 1 models. Some of these ones I got for free and I'm, I'm trying to repair, I think this one has an issue, so I'm trying still to repair some of these ones, but they are here in all, all his glory. Then going down, I have my Super Nintendo Paul Wii 2 N64, one of, this, one of these ones are RGB, is RGB, so good uh, good video quality and then I have my two NES's um, of course Paul NES's and they are uh, one of these ones is RGB as well and two Nintendo GameCubes now going up again I have my I have a Wii Mini that also has some issues that I need to repair. Um, then I have my Neo Geo Mini and my Astro City Mini. I review both of these devices uh, if you're interested. I really dig this kind of stuff. Big fan of Neo Geo, big fan of Sega, so yeah, they look great. Then I have a PC Engine. Um, my PC Engine with an EverDrive and my Neo Geo AES in all his glory and the original Xbox which is a very heavy system yeah, but looks great, love this one and I have uh, Atari 2600 the uh, slim version and three Model 1's the Japanese Model 1 Paul and uh, Sega Genesis Model One love these this, this, uh, these systems, and uh, yeah, here they are. So this shelf is actually new, 
and I still have some boxes here with my something that I never showed on the channel but I got a Super Famicom complete in box and this was, was a really uh, cheap deal I was extremely lucky when I saw it um, on sale it was a neighbor of mine and I just went out and, and, and get it and uh, it looks amazing inside all the plastics all the instruction manuals it's all in there like new so I need to bring it here to the channel then I have the, the Mega Drive box which is the original Mega Drive released in Europe and I have my Nintendo Switch the original Nintendo Switch and my yeah motherboard case and also the soldering machine uh, case that I yeah use for my stuff so right behind this uh, shelves with the systems I have an arcade machine that I built it from scratch so I basically had the plans to to build it but yeah it was actually pretty expensive to buy one already done so I decided to use stuff that I had already around and build up this arcade machine it's not finished as you can see the speakers are still uh, you know it's it's desktop speakers but they are working pretty well and uh, really proud of it uh, the screen was also a screen that I had around um, that I had over my desktop and it's a really old screen but it works great here on my arcade machine this is yes something that I bought and the um, structure itself I had the plans and I just made it uh, ask um, to cut and design and it was actually pretty cheap let's say everything here on this arcade machine was, was was cheap but I really like the quality and it's a full-size arcade arcade uh, cabinet and what is powering this arcade machine is not other than a Raspberry Pi 4 so here we here we, we have the Raspberry Pi 4 and uh, yeah I did everything on my own and yeah the controllers are Senwa so the buttons are not the buttons are, are um, a ripoff from China, but the, the, the joysticks, they are Senwa. So I spent some money on the controllers because, yeah, if you want to have a real arcade experience, you need to have good controllers. But the buttons are not bad. They have micro switches as well, as you can see. So they are quite clicky um, and they are responsive. But the joysticks are great. So my arcade machine is not finished. I still need to do to, to put the vinyl on it. I need still to put the acrylic cover. The uh, marquee needs uh, some work. A lot of things um, that I still want to do on this arcade machine. But it's fully running, fully working. I use RetroPie, and uh, I use my own image, and I'm quite happy with it. So my arcade machine here for my from my game room so some posters and Sonic the Hedgehog from uh, from Sonic Mania uh, Ultimate Collection and now what I normally do I use my own original hardware uh, when I want to use original hardware I put it here because I have my OSSC right there let me power on my OSSC right here and then I can plug and I can enjoy here on this big curved screen I can enjoy my real real hardware and um, and this is where where the the desktop that I use to edit my videos and this is where the magic is actually happening this is how I take footage from the real hardware and uh, yeah and put it on my videos. I hope one day I, knew I need to do a video dedicated in how I take footage, what hardware do I use, but uh, yeah, this is where the magic happens. So now going to my gaming shelves, my gaming collection shelves, uh, I have some new stuff compared to last year as well. I have some loose uh, Mega Drive, Atari uh, games, 
and I think also Super Nintendo and Master System, not so many, but some of them. Uh, I have my Duke Nukem 3D for the Mega Drive, thanks to my good old friend Deckard Games. Um, and what I have new is actually the um, EverDrive, the SD2 SNES, my Mega EverDrive Pro from Crix, my Fenrirs, I have two Fenrirs, I have to sell one. Uh, one is in use, the other one is here. And, um, and that's the box from my Mega EverDrive Pro. So, yeah, a lot of cool stuff. Then going even more down, I have my uh, loose NES and uh, Super NES and N64 cards. Um, a lot of cool games. This is my 8 bit do Mega Drive Genesis controller, wireless controller, as well a wireless 8 bit do SNES controller. And. Um, a lot of my uh, stuff that I used to open my cartridges and do the maintenance. This is this is old stuff, guys. It needs it needs to be maintained, and uh, I take care about my my game. So yeah, there is some NTSC SNES. Uh, there is some Famicom, Famiclon stuff happening here. A lot of NES games. And uh, yeah, then I have my Neo Geo Pocket Collection, very small collection, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. But there are some cool stuff there, some U cards from my PC Engine, as well some U cards complete in box, and as well some um, Neo Geo CD games. And then looking down for my handheld collection. I have, this is actually pretty new, this is a, a Game Gear uh, modded with a LCD speaker, completely a new speaker and completely uh, recapped. It's great, it's really great, works amazing. Then a uh, Master System Converter to use on my Game Gear, then I have an original Game Gear. Um, some Game Boy Color happening there some Neo Geo Pocket, also modded by yours truly, some PSP and PSP Vita, my Max Payne statue, some handheld games, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Game Gear, um, then I have my 3DS, 2DS, and the Game Boy XP, and as well my Neo Geo Gold that I already review here on the channel, so feel free to check it out. I have to leave the links on the description. Then I have a wireless um, arcade stick with my NVIDIA Shield controllers, a box that I used. I have a lot of um, tools there. My PlayStation 2 and some games I have duplicate and some game gear that I have to repair as well and my original Xbox collection. So, on top, I have the box from my Series X, a box with a Game Boy, uh, some Sega Saturn video card, the Super Nintendo Mini, I think the Nintendo Mini is below, and uh, yeah, let's move the shelf for the next, next shelf. Here, are my famous, well, I don't know if it's famous, but Neo Geo is always curious. So I have my Neo Geo collection, plus a game that I review here on the channel, the Alex Kidd the Miracle Wall, the Miracle World, the Signature Edition. Love the box for the Xbox. Some Panasonic 3DO, there is Road Rash, FIFA Soccer, and Star Wars Rebel Assault. I love these games. And uh, yeah, some Neo Geo big boxes, as you know. And also some MVS cards and the multi card. I use quite a lot of this multi card to take footage of the real hardware as well. And this one is the Panzer Dragoon remake for the PlayStation 4. It came with the with the um, this extra this extra um, artwork, so I have it there. Then I have my Piccolo statue. 
against the Gohan and this is my Super Nintendo complete in box collection some Japanese, some PAL, some NTSC you name it then I have Super Mario representing still below I have Super Nintendo boxes and I'm starting to see now my complete in box NES games with a marquee that I have for this is an original marquee from the MVS love this stuff maybe I'll put it on my arcade machine we'll see what happens and now following my NES complete in box NES games and some N64 also complete in box 64 and now I go for my PlayStation 1 collection with BB9 also representing and moving down I have still PlayStation 1 then I have some PlayStation 3 I think I didn't add any game this year it's been a, a tough year and I yeah had to spend some money on my Xbox Series X so yeah not so much budget for other things but uh, here we are some PSP 3DS and as well some switch and some movies some of them for HD DVD from my Xbox 360 and yeah let's move for the next shelf so R2D2 uh, also representing and this is my Sega Master System collection some cool games I had add, I added uh, some games this year for my master system it was one of the um, systems that I could collect for and I have some games that are not still on the shelf because I got them this summer and they are still here so I have my Castlevania for the Mega Drive and um, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 and Mega Games 2. So this one I got for free from my ret my friend Retros 2. Um, he promised me that he will give me as soon as he grab a copy of Castlevania for the Mega Drive, he will get me one. And promise was yeah succeed and uh, true. So here we have Mega Games 2. I got it from Mr. NES. I didn't open it yet, and this is an important game for me because. Uh, I had it when I was uh, when I was young, and now I could get it back. It's important. I have the three games in single cards, but this collection means a lot to me. Then I have the Sonic Colors Ultimate. Uh, it's one of the last games I got, so it's here. Then I have my Mega CD collection. Um, yeah, there is some. NTSC, uh, Sega CD games, uh, Sewer Shark is also NTSC, this is a Snatcher reproduction, super expensive, that's why I have a reproduction there. Then I have um, my 32X Modus collection as well, some good games. Really enjoy this the 32X, even if it's a, yeah, not a, a very famous uh, system. Then it starts my Genesis Mega Drive collection, a lot of games. So, yeah, it's 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 a uh, it's um, a system that I really like to collect, you know. So here we go. We have the uh, Streets of Rage 4 with the Mega Drive cover. Love Streets of Rage 4. So the trilogy is there plus the fourth game, fourth entry. A lot of games, Mega Drive. Genesis, still some Japanese ones uh, as well. Continue with the with Mega Drive and still some Mega Drive games plus Xbox 360 and my cat that just wake up, waked up. Sorry to wake you up. <laughs> And uh, some, yeah, Xbox 360, as well as some PC games. Yeah, so let's move 
for the next shelf because I need to open the door to my cat to go out. <laughs> and on the next, the next uh, shelf I have my Sega Saturn, you know that I'm a big fan of Sega Saturn. So here we have my Sega Saturn collection. I got some games this year, not going to lie, so I got some new games on my collection like... Uh, um, what games do I got? I got uh, Croc, for example, Quake. Uh, I got uh, what I got this year. I got some games. I bought some games for the Saturn this year. Then I have some reproductions from uh, Sega Saturn. I have the um, Shining Force 3 with all scenarios, plus the uh, Panzer Dragoon Saga. I have the Japanese official copy. But uh, yeah, I wanted to have as well the Paul, so I got a reproduction because it's super expensive. Then I have the Anniversary Sonic 2, the 10th Anniversary for Sonic Adventure 2, which I need to make a video of it. I think I promised last Game Room Tour and didn't make it yet, but I have to. Then I have BB-8 with my Japanese Sega Saturn collection. It's, it's, it's huge, yes. I didn't increase much my Sega Saturn um, Japanese collection, but there's a lot of uh, interesting titles there, I can tell you. Really cool titles. My Dreamcast, Paul, and there are still some um, NTSC games, Let's see if you can focus. And um, yeah, here we go. Then my Wii and GameCube. GameCube is getting expensive, plus Xbox One. And some Sega Saturn driving wheels and my Neo Geo AES plus an arcade stick from the PlayStation 1. And down below there is more uh, wheels for the Sega Saturn and Dreamcast that I need to review here on the channel. Then I have boxes around with a lot of stuff. Let's see if I can focus again, yeah. So Game Boy complete in box, there is a NES, a full set, a Master System, a light gun for the Master System as well, the boxes from the Astro City Mini, the PlayStation Classic, Neo Geo boxes as well, there's a lot of stuff, stuff here, and I think this one I already show you. So guys, these are this was my game tour from 2021, I don't want the video to be huge, but uh, it's been a hard year for collecting, uh, it's getting really really hard because retro games are getting, you know, they are getting more and more expensive, people think they have gold mines when they have retro games, which is, yeah, not true, but um, yeah, I hope next year I'll do another set, there's some things I want to finish here on the room and there are some games I really want to have. So guys, thank you very much for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and as usual, until the next video, take care and bye bye.